Hi everyone, I'm Shannon. For my part of the PowerPoint, I had to do the article summary. Um, the article that I chose was um, taken from a book by Dr. Brown. He is a pioneer in the field of psychology and his book is titled A New Understanding of ADHD in Children and Adults, Executive Function Impairments. Um, it was written in 2013 and the um, article summarized 10 common misconceptions of people with ADHD. Um, the first myth is, um, well, I'll just go right into the myth. So the myth one is a person with ADHD will always have trouble focusing on the task at hand. The truth is that some tasks are more difficult than others for people with ADHD and sometimes a person with ADHD can exhibit executive function. The second myth is a person with ADHD has no willpower and if they really want wanted to focus, they could. The truth is that most operations of executive functions are unconscious. That's a quote taken exactly from the article. Um, and that means that whether or not someone can exercise control over executive functioning um, can almost be like into that they if they can control their own breathing. It's just something that you do naturally. And so when it's impaired, the impairment is also going to, going to um, be something that gets impaired naturally. Myth number three is that persons with high IQ are not likely to suffer from ADHD as much as those with lower IQ. And the truth is that IQ tests have shown that intelligence and executive functioning are exclusive of each other and not completely interrelated. So just because someone has a higher IQ doesn't mean that they are going to suffer any less or any more for that matter. Um, with different symptoms of ADHD. Myth number four, people outgrow ADHD. The truth is some individuals gradually outgrow their impairments related to ADHD as it is more of a developmental lag, but no one truly outgrows the disorder. Um, rather, some learn to focus on um, and utilize their strengths and become fortunate enough to lead a lifestyle when they get to be an adult that allows for this. Uh, I have a teenage son with ADHD um, and, um, I just believe that he didn't outgrow his disorder, but he definitely learned how to manage it. So he doesn't take medication. Um, he's like a BC student. Um, and from when he started school to now, there is a tremendous, you know, growth with what he's uh, capable of as far as like organizing his work and handing in his assignments he still needs a little bit of micromanaging I would say but uh, he definitely has learned just getting older and getting more mature how to manage it um, in a way that it's, it, it satisfies me as a parent so Myth number five, executive functioning only involves the prefrontal cortex of the brain. The truth is that executive functioning, much as all brain functioning, is complex and unique per the individual. Myth number six, emotion has nothing to do with executive functioning. The truth is that studies have shown that people with ADHD tend to have difficulties with the dopamine cell firing in the reward system of the brain, which is why it remains difficult for them to maintain motivation for tasks that are not consistently providing them with reward. Um, and that's Brown, 2013. Myth number seven, the new model of ADHD is totally different than the old model of ADHD. Talking about the diagnostic DSM-5 model um, for the disorder. And actually the truth is that the new model is just a shift in paradigm to include not only children, but also adolescents and adults. Myth eight, medication to cure ADHD. The truth is there is not uh, any truth that medications can cure ADHD. Medications simply treat the symptoms and behavior associated with the disorder. So if it cured the disorder, then we probably wouldn't be talking about it right now. Myth number nine, medications do not improve executive functioning over time. The truth is that there are two studies that show that medications do improve executive functioning over time. First, imaging studies done in the brain have shown improvement. Second, experiments with children who were on medication versus not on medication have shown that medication does improve uh, executive functioning, primarily this article talked about in the uh, educational setting.
And myth number 10, ADHD is due to a chemical imbalance in the brain. And I've heard this phrase a lot um, with people that have any kind of like mental disorder. Um, the truth is that people who suffer from ADHD tend to lack proper connections in the brain, not chemicals. If you understand how the brain works, it's more of like a computer. Uh, it's what I liken it to when I when I study it, and what I think of when I when I think of it. Um, and people with ADHD fire these impulses too fast or not enough, and that is what in interferes with the executive functioning. I also found um, some national web resources. Uh, the first one is www.chad.org. Um, they have a comprehensive um, site that you can look at with different things, everything under the sun related to ADHD. Um, the second one is the National Institute of Mental Health. That's a government site. Um, and um, they also have a lot of resources on there regarding um ADHD. And the last one is um, www.cdc.gov. So that's the Center for Disease Control. Um, and that's also a government site. And that also has a lot of information, um, very good research studies and things like that done um, in regards to uh, ADHD. These are our references. And thanks everyone for watching the presentation. Have a good night.